now let's uh, talk about uh, the script issue in some cases or in some countries this is even called as bonus issue or bonus share or in some other in some countries it's even called as the stock dividend so whatever is the name that is given to this it is instead of paying dividend in the form of cash the company is trying to give additional shares to the investors in lieu of the dividend so it could be in some proportion probably it may say for every 3 existing shares one new share could be given or for uh, every uh, one existing share one new share could be given so any kind of mechanisms could be there as a part of the script issue but what typically happens in this case is any kind of script issue that is happening the number of shares that are now floating in the market for that particular company is going to increase number of outstanding shares is going to increase whereas these shares are not purchased at an additional price which means the existing market value of the firm is distributed across all these shares which means the per share price is going to drop so more number of shares increased number of shares and less price per share that becomes the typical property as a part of this script issue and uh, the overall market capitalization of the firm is not going to change now if that's the case why does a company get into this kind of a mechanism who are going to really benefit out of it is the investor community going to benefit out of it or is it the is the firm having some kind of a benefit out of it typically if i look at that entire scenario all the benefits they are more and more psychological in nature more to do with the belief of the investors as well as the company are typically uh, coming out as a part of this uh, consequences of script issue now the company definitely feels having large number of shares which are having small value per share probably easier to market them there could be more and more liquidity that could be created they can be marketable easily even an investor who is uh, uh, who is having a very limited budget for buying and selling he will show some kind of interest in terms of buying the share so companies may feel like if they want to reduce the share they can resort to this kind of a mechanism and from an investor's uh, uh, perspective the psychological feel is they are getting an extra share without paying anything while at the other end they are directly not realizing that the existing share price has fallen they are getting some kind of uh, uh, some kind of uh, a satisfaction that they are getting something for nothing right which really creates a kind of positive vibe in the investors uh, mentality and okay the other dimension is typically we see that the script issue happens based on the reserves the company has generated and this reserves is getting built up based on the retained earnings retained earnings are getting built up based on the past profits of the company which are not paid in the form of dividend so only if the company is having a very high amount of retained earnings which are translated into the reserves and these reserves are capitalized only if the company is having this much of very heavy reserves then only they can do a script issue because that happens purely out of the past profits of the firm which means there is some kind of a positive vibe again in the investor community which says yes this is the company which has really performed well in the past they have built up a very heavy reserve way out of their retained profit and that's the reason today they are releasing that entire thing to the investors 
So the, the, there is some kind of a positive vibe that the company has performed well in the past, which could be an uh, initial momentum to believe that the company can very well perform well in the future as well. Even it can boost up the future confidence. The reason being, see, once the share price, once a, a script is issued, the share price is going to fall. And if the share price is typically uh, falling, now, if, uh, if typically the, the, the management is not confident of a future bounce back, it can typically uh, impact the company's prospects altogether. So only a positive, uh, uh, only a positive optimism about uh, the future, future, future performance of the company is one of the mandatory things. Uh, if at all, if at all, they have to go forward in terms of a script issue because here instead of paying the dividend, the company has retained the capital, retained the the profits. And if it has retained the profit, means that additional capital, it should give, it should give a minimum return, which is higher than what the return the investor would have got if he had invested it elsewhere. See, there are two options. Now the company has a huge reserve amount. One, it could have paid the profits in the form of dividend. If it had paid the profit in the form of dividend, this guys, uh, the investors are going to invest this dividend somewhere and going to get some money. Now, in this case, instead of paying the dividend, the company has typically given them an additional share, which means the company wants to use this capital as an investment in the company. Now, if this is going to generate a return which is higher than this, only then it acts as a positive move, which means the management, the board should be heavily confident that this uh, amount which they are retaining, which they are getting additionally into the company by issuing a bonus share is really going to generate a return that is going to be much, much higher than what the investor would have got if you have received it in the form of a dividend and reinvested, if that confidence does not come out, it will impact the performance of the company drastically in the future. And it also results, the more and more uh, script issues like this, they can result in the dividends in the future typically going up. The number of outstanding shares are going up but the par value or the face value of the share did not change. So because of that, whatever is the dividend that the company is going to give in the future, it can typically be boosted in the future as such. Again, a positive vibe in the investor community. And uh, it can also look like the rate of dividend that it is uh, giving as a proportion as a proportion of the nominal value looks more and more appropriate. And finally, in some cases, there, there are regulatory related uh, requirements, uh, especially in Companies Act, that the company should typically have a minimum issued share capital of some amount, minimum issued share capital of some amount, in case it has to act as a trustee. Now, this mechanism, what it is doing, the script issue, it is transferring the amount from the reserves account to the share capital account, which is resulting again in increase of the share capital, which could meet these kind of requirements. So, uh, majority of the benefits if we are seeing here, it looks as if they are psychological in nature, some of them being perceived by the company and the management of the firm, some being perceived by the investor community. But in general, what we are seeing is lot of companies, they tend to keep their stock price in a particular, uh, uh, in a particular range. So they try to use this mechanism of script issue to really work out on that front.
and if at all they have built heavy uh, profits over the past heavily uh, retained those profits built up the reserves to in in one year they can very well distribute the same to the investors in the form of uh, additional share which could uh, boost the confidence of the shareholders uh, dramatically right